Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to embed ID3 metadata tags into your MP3 file when you bounce your song from Logic Pro 10. And first thing we need to do is to have our start and end times already uh, figured out, which I have written down here in the notepad. And then we will click on Command B to open up our bounce window. And just enter in your start and end times, one space one space four space 201, and then end time 78 space one space one space one. All right, so we've done that. And then we will select ID3, write ID3 tags, and then click on the button for your ID3 settings. For the song title, Logic automatically puts in the project title from right there. And so I am going to change that slightly to remove the Z. And then for the artist, the artist is me. And if you are in a band, you would put your band name here. And then uh, the album, this one is Crystal Snow, whoops, sorry, Crystal and Snow Meditations. The track number, this is track number one. I have a total of nine tracks on this album. The subtitle, if you have one, would go here. This one's just going to be three minute meditations. And the composer, this would be me. I'm the composer. I'm the only composer on here. And then the lyricist, if this did have lyrics, I would put my name here. Um, or if I worked with someone who wrote lyrics for me, then I would put their name here. And then uh, the band orchestra, put your band name again here if that's, uh, if you're in a band or an orchestra. Conductor, obviously, if it's an orchestra. And then remixed, if you took a song and you remixed it for somebody, um, then you would put your name here for um, that you were the remix person or whoever is the person who's re who has remixed the song would go here. The beats per minute logic automatically puts in the BPM that your um, click track was set to. Uh, but if you played to a different um, BPM, then you would write that in here. Uh, any comments would go in the comment section. Uh, genre, it's best to just keep with the typical genres like alternative rock, electronica, country, metal, you know, jazz, classical. Um, for this particular piece, it's going to be ambient. And then the publisher label, that's going to be Lady Audio. That's the name of my publisher label. And then the produce notice. If you worked with a producer and they're going to be receiving, say, 50% of the royalties or something like that, then you would put their name in here. You would put the year, say 2019, and then you would put their name, Joe Schmo, whatever. So that's what that would go in there for. And then for the copyright, this, as far as I know, it only takes numbers. So you would just put the year in the copyright. And then uh, the ISRC code, this um, is what you would get, say, from DistroKid. So if you have already bounced your WAV file, and it doesn't have any metadata on it or whatever, it's just your WAV file, and you uploaded that to DistroKid, and then you went through that process of you know, publishing your song, then you would get your ISRC code from there. And they look, ISRC codes look something like QZ-APG-11-11111. Obviously, this is a fake number, but um, basically that's what your ISRC codes look like. And then for the URL, um, you would put your website or your um, publisher labels website, um, ladyaudio.com for that. And then for your key, this song and this project is in the key of A, and I played in the key of A, so I'm going to leave this the way it is. But if you played in a different key, say it's in G or something like that, then you would just switch it 
by using that drop down menu. Then you click OK and your ID3 settings are ready to go. Click OK again and then uh, you would just name this, um, you know, whatever your name that you want it to say. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to leave this the way it is. It's fine. And then click on bounce. Um, obviously, it already existed in that folder, so I'm just going to click save. Mm -hmm.